To use the dynamic block, go to Campaigns, and then either click Create Campaign, or use one of the campaigns in your Drafts folder. I'm going to go with this one, and I'm going to click Content right over here. This will take me to the Drag and Drop Builder. And normally, when you want to personalize some text, for example, this text over here, you can just use this variable over here, and the name of the person in your database will show up in his or her email, in this case. And the way you access this is you go to variables here, and you have all the variables in your database. Of course, you need to have the names in your database. With dynamic blocks, what you can do is not only personalize the text here, but you can actually personalize the whole block. So if you see every one of these blocks, if you highlight them with your mouse, if you hover over them, you'll see this little eye icon. And if you click that icon, you'll have these settings over here. This means that this block will show to all recipients in your newsletter list. And if you click specify recipients, what you can do is if you have, for example, a group of people that are from New York, and you know that all the people from New York are in that specific group, and you can you can click this, people from New York, click Save, and for example, instead of welcome, you can say, hello, New York, right? And only those people will see this block, only those people from the group. Of course, you can also do it in a different way, if instead of having those people in a group, if you have them in, uh, in their database, all the information con concerning their city, well, you can click Customize Recipients, use the custom field City, of course, you need to have that custom field, equals New York. And only those people with that New York City in their field will see this block. And, of course, you can also exclude recipients. So if you have a uh, people not from New York list, well, you can exclude it. And then those people from that list will not see this block. All right, so let's specify recipients. Let's just use the, the group people from New York. I don't have anyone in this group, but this is just a demo. So I'm just going to click Save. And let me show you how this will, how people will see this. Click Preview and Test, Preview Mode. And this is what the people that are not targeted will see so they will not see that hello from New York. And if we see the targeted by group and we choose people from New York, because that's what we chose there. Let's a little too much groups. There we go. People from New York, click preview. They will see this hello, New York. And that's the dynamic block. It works very similar in the rich text editor. Let's go there for a second. Here we have an animated video block. And let's just change this to a static image for a second. Click Save. And if we hover over these blocks, we'll see these three little dots, and it's very similar. We click the eye icon, and we have the same settings. So that's about it. Thank you for watching this video. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.